Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be answering all your questions about the 2017 Festive Surprise DLC and all of the drip feed content coming in 2018 as well. So we've got a ton of questions today, so let's not waste any more time and let's get it started. All right, our first question today comes from Paul Mazou, who says, do you think Rockstar will do more treasure hunts? And I sure hope so. So I don't know about you guys, but that Red Dead Redemption 2 treasure hunt was a ton of fun. Uh, I thought it was one of the most exciting things they added in this update, and it was so simple. It was receiving an email, finding a note, getting three clues, and then getting treasure. But it was honestly a ton of fun. It really reminded me of sort of the special crate drops that Rockstar did back in the day, like in 2013, 2014, and how much fun that was. So yeah, I hope they do more in the future. I don't know if they will because that one was so specific on just getting some free advertisement from Red Dead Redemption 2 and getting players hyped and involved for that upcoming game, but I'm not sure. Some people have pointed out that there are three more open spots on the wall at Ammunition, so there's a chance that maybe they could do something like that with more weapons. I think that would be cool if they did it with clothing items or you know accessories or anything. I think that would be super cool. So hopefully Rockstar do some more going forward. ANSH says, will we get to keep the Christmas content this time because Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out? So we're going to be touching on some questions similar to like that later, but I'm not sure. Typically, what Rockstar have done in all the Christmas DLCs we've had in the past in 2014, 2015, and 2016 is the way it works. The content has been free, but it goes away when the Festive Surprise DLC goes away, which is typically in the first or second week of January. So Unless Rockstar specifically state this time that this is the last festive surprise DLC, which would surprise me because Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out, then I think it's going to be business as usual. We'll get the content, but it will go away when the festive surprise is over, which is unfortunate because a lot of those clothing and masks and accessories, they're all so awesome, and I'd love to be able to wear them year-round. Christian says, what content will we get in the festive surprise, and how much will they cost? So right now, it's a little tough to determine what we're going to be getting in the festive surprise because Rockstar haven't dropped any hints, they haven't dropped any clues, but we can figure out what sort of vehicles will be releasing, now, my prediction is going to be that there will be two vehicles coming out, uh, one on Tuesday and then one on Friday later in the week. So there's two vehicles that could come out from the Legendary Motorsports site, the Overflot Autarch, which is a supercar, and the Anis Silvestre, which is a sports classic. And then two vehicles from the Southern San Andreas site would be the Ubermach Sentinel Classic and the Benefactor Streeter. So again, if Rockstar are going to be doing two vehicles, which is what they did last year in 2016 with the Nero and the Comet Retro Custom, it'll be a combination of those four vehicles. And you asked how much will it cost? Well, I've actually done a video on the vehicle prices, so you can check that out if you want. And so a lot of the other content is free. So like the mask, the clothing, the snow, obviously, uh, a lot of the accessories, if it's traditional, uh, it's going to be free. So that's good news for you is it won't cost you any money. All right, our next question comes from Victor. He says, how do you feel about not getting an actual Christmas themed car? Would have been awesome with some kind of variation of a sleigh. You're right, Victor. I talked about this in another video, and I think that this has always been kind of disappointing from Rockstar is that they never do like a Christmas themed vehicle unlike what they do in the Halloween update, where they always have Halloween or spooky themed cars. Now, I will give them credit. This year, they are introducing a bunch of festive themed liveries for a bunch of the new vehicles, the Mobile Operations Center, the Smugglers Run vehicles, the gun running stuff. So that is a, a little better. At least they're not totally leaving us out to dry here. But yeah, I would have loved to see like the Vigilante or the Sanctus of the Christmas update. I think Rockstar could have gotten pretty creative and come up with some pretty interesting and cool vehicle ideas, but unfortunately that's never really been their thing, but I still think it's going to be an awesome update nonetheless. Matthew Clark says, do you think the new adversary mode coming out for Christmas is going to be a big snowball fight? So there are four hidden adversary modes within the files of the game. And one of them, I would imagine, is going to be coming out over the festive surprise, especially because we didn't get an adversary mode within the Doomsday Heist DLC. 
And yes, it would be awesome if Rockstar made that uh, adversary mode festive, Christmas, holiday, snow themed. I mean, otherwise, I'm not going to be interested in it. I'm going to be interested in the new content. I'm not going to play some random adversary mode like Motor Wars or something like that. I want it to be specific to the Christmas holiday season. So hopefully you're right, Matthew, and hopefully that's exactly what they do. Alien Ninja says, do you think we will get new vehicles with weapon options like the Comet Safari? If so, which ones? So you're right. There's actually going to be one more vehicle that has optional guns on it like the Comet Safari, and that is the Lampadati Viserys. So this one is going to be a whole lot of fun. Um, I, I am really looking forward to this vehicle. Unfortunately, it's not going to be released for a while as it's kind of far down on the list, but that is one other vehicle I know for sure that has weapons that you can put on there. Now, I like the fact that they're optional because the Comet Safari, in my opinion, would have been a little bit more ruined if the weapons were there by default. But the fact that you can keep it civilian, you can keep it pretty normal, but if you want the weapons you can, it's pretty great. And that's what I'm really going to like about the Viserys as well. So when that's added, it will also have weapons. Brandon Wilson says, what properties do you think the Christmas tree will be in this year? Facility, bunker, hangar, etc. I expect them to be in all three of the ones you listed. The new facility, the bunker from Gun Running, the hangar from Smuggler's Run. I expect it to be in all of those. Um, I also expect it to be in the old properties we've received. So apartments, stilt houses, all that sort of stuff. Um, and obviously there's going to be the big Christmas tree in the downtown square area, Legion's square it is so that'll be pretty cool rockstar always typically do a really good job with that so gonna be a lot of fun when that is added vaughn says do you think they'll let us keep the festive surprise clothing like the santa and elf outfits um unfortunately vaughn as we kind of touched on earlier i don't think so unless rockstar just do a complete 180 of what they've done the last three years i think that all the clothing is going to go away when the festive surprise dlc goes away and like i said it's a shame because it's honestly some of the best looking and fun enjoyable clothing and accessories to have in the game but unfortunately i think it will go away just like the festive surprise itself will up next jack dawson says how long do you think the snow will last this year so i think the snow is going to last the same amount of time that it has lasted the past three dlcs so it's going to come out two or three days before christmas which i think will either be on thursday or friday this year which is i think the 22nd or the 23rd it'll leave a day or two after christmas so the 26th or the 27th and then it'll come back a day or two before new year's and new year's eve so that'll be on the 30th or the 31st and then it'll leave on like the second or the third of january in 2018 so overall, you're probably going to get about six or seven total days of the snow, which is obviously not a lot. It makes it one of the most rarest phenomenons in Grand Theft Auto Online to have the snow and to be able to experience it. So yeah, it's going to be fun, but it will only be here for a short number of days. Caleb says, do you think Rockstar should make people pay for the Christmas content this year? Me and all my friends would love to have the pajamas and other clothes and masks permanently for a reasonable price. This is a great idea, Caleb. So this is actually sort of an in the middle solution. So Rockstar could offer two prices. They could have a free price where you could get all the content for nothing, but it would go away when the festive surprise DLC ended. Or you could do what Caleb suggested. You could have a price that you could pay for and you'd be able to keep it permanently. And honestly, I think that's the option that I would ultimately go for. I would want to pay so that I could have them forever. I mean, it's great that it's free, but honestly, the the clothing and the mask probably wouldn't be all that expensive and, and it would be totally worth it to be able to get some of those coolest items in this update. So I think that would be the best case scenario. Not sure if Rockstar would ever go for that because they never have in the past, but I can hope and I think that would be epic. All right, and the final question we're going to be taking a look at today comes from Gabriel Kari who says, do you think that Rockstar will skip one or two weeks without releasing a new vehicle like in Smuggler's Run? And I think this is going to be a no. So after Smuggler's Run came out, there was like no holiday that Rockstar had like pressing time in order to get to. So it was like the first week of September. Nothing happens then. Halloween wasn't till the end of October. However, with this, 
Christmas is like here. Rockstar can't wait a week. If they wait another week, it'll be after Christmas. It'll be the day after Christmas. So no, they're not going to be skipping a week. We're going to be getting new vehicles or a new vehicle on Tuesday. Um, And that's always been the case as well. In 2015, it was like this. In 2016, it was like it. So I highly doubt they would ever skip this week. That would be so unprecedented of them to do. And it also just wouldn't make sense. And as it is already, Rockstar already have 13 of these vehicles to get out. So if they do one per week, which is likely, uh, it's already going to take over three months. So I don't see them skipping and making it going any longer. But anyways, that's all the questions that I'm going to be answering in this week's Q&A video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. As always, if you want to get involved in the next one of these, all you got to do is go down in the description, follow me on Twitter, and use that hashtag AskBoss, and you might find yourself featured in the next video. If you did go on to enjoy this one, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. We like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.